be me, 19, early 2000s, second semester of community college, trying to make something of myself, living in off-campus housing, cheap neighborhood, apartment is shit, can still barely afford it, have two roommates to help out with rent, and they're absolute degenerates, one sells drugs, mostly weed, has some gang ties probably, don't ask him too many questions, I don't want that life. Other guy drinks a lot, sleeps most of the day, barely see him. He pays on time, so I don't give a fuck what he does. We don't really hang out. Go to class, study in the library. Only go home to sleep and eat. Dragging ass through midterms. Stressed out, not getting much sleep. Ask dealer roommate if he knows where I can get something to help me study. I got you, bro. Hands me a couple of little white tabs. I eh, figure they're riddling. Lots of people take those. Offer to pay him when I get my check next week. Nah, worry, just drop me off today. I'm the only one in the apartment with a car. Eh, I figure I can drop him off wherever and then head to class. Down the tabs of the Red Bull and head out with dealer Rumi. He has me drive him around to a couple places near campus. Broad daylight, nothing too shady. Looks like he's just greeting people. He gets back in, has me drive him somewhere else. This goes on a few times. Starting to feel really paranoid. Last location, dealer roommate steps out. Suddenly hears something growling behind me, like some kind of wild animal. Turn around, scared shitless. Nothing is behind me. Say nope aloud and slam on the gas, leaving dealer roommate behind. Tearing ass down a one-way street a block from campus. Almost clip a guy in the crosswalk. Hear ghostly groaning behind me. Staring wide-eyed, switching from the street in front of me in the rearview mirror. See something moving behind me. Oh shit, oh god, oh fuck, dot gif. Blast through an intersection. Don't even know what color the light was. Suddenly, the car is filled with a stench of shit. Know for my aunt who's into paranormal stuff that sudden bad odors are a sign of demonic presence. Slam the brakes. Turn around and shout, The power of Christ compels you! At retard volume. Directly into the face of drunk ass Rumi, who is staring back with bloodshot eyes, a drop of drool running down his mouth, and snot coming out of his nose. He screams. I scream. We both take a moment to collect ourselves. What the fuck, Anon? Ask why he's in my car. He looks around like he doesn't know. Uh, I think I slept in here. About to ask him if he took a shit in my car when my phone starts vibrating. It's dealer Rumi. Text reads, what the fuck, Anon? Start texting back, what the fuck was in those tabs? Drunk ass rolls down a window and pukes out the side. Notice red and blue flashing lights behind me. Put phone back in my pocket. Cop flips on his siren for half a second just to let me know I'm boned. Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, dot mp3. Cop saunters up to my window. I roll it down. Why don't you pull over to the side right over there? He starts to point out a spot for me to pull over. Suddenly his whole expression changes. Nose rankles. He can smell the shit. Something about his face becomes inhuman. His sneer of disgust has broken the disguise of a thing pretending to be a man. Yeah, Auntie X told me about this too. No skinwalker gonna get my skin today! Floyd, blasting past the cop. Drunk ass still has his head out the backseat window. What the fuck? He pulls his head back in. Come on. Calmly explain that the cop is gonna kill us both unless I can get to class on time. Not sure why I thought that still mattered, but I'm 100% sure that our lives not depend on getting onto campus and into the lecture hall before the cop catches up to us. Maybe my anthropology professor knows a spell to kill skinwalkers, I don't know. Drunk ass gets quiet, like he's not sure what to do. Not like he has a choice, I'm doing 90. Round the corner into campus proper. Flashing lights and blaring sirens behind me. From a loudspeaker. Drunk ass is wailing in his shit pants. My mind has never felt more clear. 
Effortlessly, I glide between terrified pedestrians. The wheel is an extension of my hand, the car a manifestation of my will. The curb is no impediment to me, nor the sidewalk an obstacle. Peel out onto the grass, heading directly for the building my class is in. Hear screeching wheels behind me. My fellow education seekers are taking cover in nearby buildings and diving behind parked cars. Drive right up to the base of the stairs to the building. Step out of the car. Wow, that really is a lot of cops. Drunk ass stumbles out and hugs the grass face first. Leave him for dead. Hustle up the stairs and try to open the door. Locked. Must have locked the building down. Phone vibrates again. Absently check it while I wait to get shot, slash eaten, slash skinwalked. Riddling you prick! Drop my phone as I get tased and tackled by three different dudes, each twice my size. End up doing several months in a mental health facility. And that's how I found out I have ADHD. But I'm also in the 1% of people who have mania and paranoid psychosis when they take the medicine that treats ADHD. Fuck my life, B.